Hey everybody, Mr. Grove here. Today we're going to talk about proteins. So proteins are also one of the four macromolecules that our body needs to make. Uh, and the thing about proteins is that they have a very specific shape. So shape, shape, shape will be the uh, big deal with them. Uh, and if we mess with that shape, we'll see that they, sh they don't really work quite right. Um, another thing about proteins uh, is if you notice, they will often end in this suffix, ace. So a protein is, might be an example of lactase. So that would be the protein, the enzyme, that helps break down uh, the milk sugar, lactose. And if we don't have that protein working properly, then we won't be able to break down the sugar, lactose, properly. And so oftentimes, uh, you may not even know what a protein particularly does. You know, maybe it's ribase. And, but if you can recognize that suffix, ace, uh, you can know things about proteins. You can know that they're very shape dependent. You can know that they're made of amino acids as their monomers. You can know that um, they can be denatured and all of that without really knowing anything particularly about ribase. So ace is the suffix usually and let that be helpful to you in identifying proteins. Uh, another thing about proteins is their monomer. So the monomer or the subunit that we build proteins together with is going to be the amino acid. And so all amino acids have four different groups around the carbon. There's always going to be this hydrogen uh, and there will be a carboxyl group and that's carboxylic acid then that's where the amino acid part comes in and then this functional group is going to be the amino group and that's what gives the name amino acid. And so all amino acids are the same the only thing that is different on them is the R group. Uh, and that is, there's going to be 20 different possibilities there uh, on amino acids. So we have 20 amino acids that are in existence. All of these uh, would be the 20. Uh, and some of them are very, very simple. Um, some of them are quite complex with rings and folds and, and double bonds and things. And so, but in a, ultimately there are only 20. It's kind of like in the alphabet. There are only 26 letters, but we can combine those in all different formations, some complicated letters, some not complicated, and we'll combine them to make infinitely amount of words. So the same thing here, we can combine our 20 different amino acids uh, to give lots and lots and lots of different types of proteins based on the combinations that we do. So um, that is also about... Uh, proteins. Um, the th shape that we get from them is very specific to their job, so very specific to their function. And if we mess that shape, it's kind of like messing up a key on a lock. And so that key just wouldn't work right uh, on the lock if we've messed with its shape a little bit. And so amino acids, we can do what's called denature their shape by uh, temperature, by pH change, by salt uh, concentration, or just literally physically breaking them down. So like temperature, if someone were to get a really high fever, maybe like a 106 or 107, 108 for an adult, that's a really hot fever. And so what can start to happen is actually some of your proteins can start to denature. So that means their shape is going to be broken uh, and they won't be able to, to do their jobs. Uh, and some of those jobs that we have are structure, so like hair and ligaments, um, toenails, uh, contractile proteins would be like muscles, uh, storage proteins would be like uh, proteins that are stored in like eggs. Um, we know eggs are high in protein and that's for the you know baby uh, animal to be able to get a good start. Uh, defense proteins, uh, the antibodies that keep you uh, safe. Transport proteins are like the hemoglobin that move around in your blood and transport oxygen and nutrients. Enzyme proteins uh, like that lactase will help break down a very specific uh, molecule and help speed that reaction up. Or some of our hormones 
will be signal proteins. And so all of these are very, very important to our body. So how do we glue our subunit, the amino acid, together to each other to form this giant sequence? And so what we'll do is we take the OH off of the carboxyl group and the H off of the amino group, and that makes water. Uh, and so uh, making the water, we'll dehydrate it. We're taking it away from those two amino acids. And then that bond that's formed where those H and OH were uh, is going to be what's called a peptide bond. So when we do many of these glues together, that will create what is called a polypeptide. And so that is uh, proteins. And so if we go back to this, we'll see that our shape can be many different possibilities here. And sometimes when we put the sequence together, certain of these amino acids will have positive charges. Some of them might have negative charges. And that will cause slight attractions and repulsions uh, together to where uh, we will start to get little coils or start to get little folds. Uh, and that gives a very specific shape to that protein. And so by having that shape, it can do its job. And like we said before, if we mess with the shape, then we're messing with the protein, and that's called denaturing, and that would keep that from happening. So proteins are very important. Uh, we get them from the foods we eat. We break them down. Uh, with our hydrolysis scissors, uh, and then we use those parts to build up through dehydration our own proteins that we need for our body. So hope that was helpful.